Hey guys, welcome back. So the first part of this test, uh, we're going to take a look at the Titan RTX and how well it does ray tracing. We're going to pick one. I'm going to pick one scene in Battlefield 5, and then compare it to a Titan V and a 2080 Ti, and see the difference between the three cards. Uh, first, let me start off with showing you guys the actual hardware I'm using. Um, there's too many YouTube channels out there that just show performance of games, and you don't see a person. You don't even see you know the fact that they even if they even have the hardware and I don't most of the times when I test um, my cards to those site that those pages excuse me um, or their videos I should say uh, and it's never the same so just be careful there's a lot of fake stuff out there so the first thing like I said I like to do is show you guys and I'm using the Titan RTX as you can see here and here and if we go into device manager you see that I have it running here I'm running this test on a 9900K. As you can see, the cards are not overclocked. They are stock. And let's fire up Battlefield. Um, first thing, let me go into the settings and show you guys what I'm using for settings. Let me shut that off. Um, 4K at 120. I am using a Predator X27 monitor. Um, down the bottom here, I do like to shut chromatic aberration, fill grain, lens distortion. I like to shut all that stuff off as... Uh, they said that would be give you the best performance with DXR enabled, which you can see here it's enabled. HDR is off. Uh, I did have a lot of problems with HDR. Shadow Play does not record in HDR. It was showing things super saturated, so I just left it alone. VSync off, GPU memory restriction off. Um, you can see down here everything's custom, everything's on ultra. Um, and even DXR is on ultra. So I'm going to pick this scene. I'd already picked the scene. I played through an hour and a half of the game. And I'm not a fan of this game, so I was a little upset. I had to kind of go through the game to find something. I found this spot. I'm going to stick with it um, because Rotterdam, which is one of the worst spots for DXR, to try to you know get to that spot three times with three different graphics cards on a multiplayer game while trying to get while getting shot at isn't something I want to um, spend time doing. So there's some reflections in the scene. You'll see the smoke and the fire particles, and you'll see them through the the, the ground. Let's see, I'll just get over here, and it's the most taxing scene in this little section. So right here, as you can see, the reflections of the fire and the smoke on the ground, and as well as smoke. If I turn that back on, we are right around 42 FPS. So if I move around, you'll see it. It'll jump. So for here. This is the worst scene. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to pick this as a scene to run all three cards on. Um, I did run this without shadow play, and I got 46. There's about a 10 to 12 percent increase in performance when shadow play is off. So keep that in mind when you're looking at these figures. So this is with DXR and Ultra in the game 4K Ultra. I will put it on DXR low, and you guys can see type of performance you get with it on I mean excuse me with it on low jumped up to 56 so as I said I got about 61 62 with shadow play off so keep in mind that there is a 10% performance increase when shadow play is not enabled so I'm back um, now I've uh, installed the 2080 Ti did a DDU clean install of the drivers um, and we are ready to go as you can see now we're using 2080 Ti um, over here as well in the MSI, and over here, and oops, network, wrong one, what am I looking for, oh, okay, so 2080 Ti, you can see a display adapter, so now we have that running, we're going to pick the same scene again, and we're going to run again, I did notice that when I ran the Titan RTX, I was running around 1980 megahertz, now the Titan RTXs are cooled, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to overclock this card to about try to get it to be the same around 1980 to 1990 um, megahertz so that way it's even and we won't have any discrepancy there and we can really see uh, the performance increase or decrease with RTX between the R Titan RTX and the 2080 Ti okay so let's go back to the spot I 
actually pull up the settings menu so you guys can see the settings that I am running again. Um, let's actually check and see the megahertz once this loads. This game takes forever to load and I'm running on an SSD external. So, alright. So let's run at 1920. So I'm going to overclock. So first things first, let's take a look at the options. As you can see, it's everything's the same. Um, the advanced, everything, nothing's changed. Everything's still the same. Ultra, ultra, 4K, ultra, everything, including the XR. So we are running at 1905. So I'm actually going to put 100 on the clock see what that gives us 1980 okay so that's exactly where we were before so let's go over to that spot and see what we get You're about here so mm, one FPS difference 40 I'd say it's hovering around 40 well, using about the same memory 8295 I think it was similar to that so so what are we at we're at 40 I'm just gonna write this down uh, we were at 42 and obviously with without shadow play it was 46 so actually let me run this on low so that way we've done both low and low it seems to be the same you throw it on low. Um, actually, the megahertz have dropped a little bit, so I'm going to increase this a little bit more. 125. It's still dipping because of the temp, so it's 1980, there you go. So it's close enough. 1965, 1980. We're talking 15 megahertz, and it's literally right around the same FPS wise. So I got 52 before, actually 54, excuse me, and now I'm getting 53. And then in, with the XR and Ultra, um, yeah, it's almost the same. With the XR and Ultra, we got 40 compared to 42 with the Titan. So that's a, what, 5% increase? Um, right, 40 plus, yeah, whatever. Uh, so yeah, so let's now pop in the Titan V. Okay guys, I am now back with the Titan V. Uh, had that little hiccup with the uh, Origin with the different hardware setup, so it's now working as you can see, Titan V. Uh, we're running a little overclock here, I'm going to run 150. Um, so that, see if we can run clocks similar to the last two tests. Uh, let's fire up the game. First things first, I'm going to go into options, show you guys that everything is the same. Over here, DXR is enabled. This is a Titan V with no RT cores, yet ray tracing is working. We're on Ultra. So we're going to go back to that same scene that we just did twice. And already the game is super choppy, as you can see. Uh, we're in the 30s. So here we are again at that same scene, 27 FPS, 28 FPS. So it's not even close and the reason why I made this video is because there have been reports the last few days from different websites claiming that the Titan V does ray tracing as well as a 2080 Ti. Now I had tested this the day Battlefield 5 uh, the update when the update came out for ray tracing the very first thing I did was test this and this was over a month and a half ago I knew it didn't do as well and then you get reports you know I don't know the exact date when that NVIDIA driver and the update were better. I forget at the moment, but a month and a half later and people are reporting false information. This is the purpose of uh, doing the website and doing the YouTube. Uh, you know, I'm not a tech person. I didn't go to school for this stuff, but I'm a tech enthusiast. I'm a gamer. I'm an enthusiast when it comes to building. So everything I do for this channel is to share and give you guys correct information and not bullshit you because there's just too much misinformation out there. So 
as you can see it we're at 28 we we're at 42 with the Titan RTX and at 40 with the 2080 Ti in the same exact scene um, actually the megahertz are a little low but even if I overclock uh, we're at 150 175 at 175 the game might crash 1830 another 100 megahertz is not going to be adding much to that 29 so maybe 30 31 that's still 10 fps off which is 30 percent so as you can see there i just got a crash and i'm going to run it one more time and this time it is with dxr on low try to get over to that spot in case we get another crash <coughs> excuse me and we're looking at 41 42 whereas before we we're at 54 um and about 52 with 54 with the titan rtx and 52 with 2080 ti so as you can see the information out there is not always correct and that is the purpose of me making this video so i hope you guys enjoyed this video stay tuned as i have a lot more titan rtx uh titan v and 2080 ti comparisons as well as titan xp um apologize for taking so long getting some videos out there it's just just getting around to planning my channel out a little better to get more content out there on a weekly basis. So until next time, I'll see you guys later.